Hey guys, Sarah here. Today I want to show you a pretty basic part of um, Illustrator. It's, it's actually a new feature, but it's, um, well, it's not that new. It's been around for a few years, but um, it's not as well known as some other things. It is the freeform gradient tool, which is just this little one over here. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to use it, uh, just in case you don't, because it is different than the normal gradient tool. And uh, yeah, I thought it might be useful. Maybe for some of you out there who aren't not quite familiar enough with the tool. So let's get started. So to begin, I just want to show the freeform gradient tool with this very, very simple shape, obviously just a rectangle here. And then all you do is click the shape and then um, on your gradient palette, you just click the freeform gradient button and ta-da, it's actually, it's really easy. <laughs> and that's the whole tutorial. You make a shape and you click it. And I think it usually just gives you kind of a random assortment of colors. And that looks really cool. So we're just going to duplicate that over here. And uh, what happens if I click it again? Okay, we'll make a new shape. If we make another brand new shape right here and we click freeform gradient. Um, okay, well, it seems to be sticking cl pretty close to the same colors, but you see what it does. So essentially what the freeform gradient tool does is it will give you a gradient made up of um, a bunch of different points um, within a shape that you can move around and you can actually expand the amount of color that you have in each area or actually you can't really make it smaller it's basically just make it bigger or bring it back to where it was or you can delete each little point or you can add more and to add more, it's basically uh, you just click and you click and you click. And for each area where you add more, you can apply a color. So we can do a nice, maybe not that yellow, maybe a nicer color here. So we got like a yellow color and then we'll do a blue and maybe a purpley, purple, purple. And over here, maybe we do an orange. All right. Well, now this one looks terrible. So we're just going to delete that. So that's the basics of a freeform gradient and it's uh, pretty fun to use. I actually really enjoy using the freeform gradient whenever I can. It gives you a bit more, um, I guess a bit, a few more options than just the normal gradient. Obviously a normal gradient would be, you know, you have your shape and you give it the gradient and then you just, um, you know, you put what color you want going from one way to another. So there's no real points on it. So let's go back and get my freeform gradient back. because It's much prettier. So yeah, that's the, the freeform gradient. And you can also actually do this without points. You can have it with lines instead. I'll show you that. I'll actually just delete my uh, my points first. Delete, delete, and goodbye, purple. Nope, did I need that? Anyway, we're gonna do lines. Nope, I may have needed that one. It's gone completely away. So we've got a line to a line. And then it kind of works like the pen tool where you can, you have it at that, or you can have it kind of around there and make a, make a loop. And now all of these points will have color along the line. So I'll show you what that means. So there's one point and I want to have, let's say magenta. Actually, that's quite pinky. Where's my magenta? There we go. And then uh, we'll put uh, maybe a blue in there. And what do I also want? Different blue, better blue, whiter blue. Yeah. Okay. So you see the color kind of goes along the lines. So it's not just from point to point. It's from place to place and along the kind of the whole way of that line, if that makes sense. So you see how moving it around will change it and you can get some really cool stuff happening in there. So I, I encourage you to try this and just play along with it, play around with it as much as you can. Because honestly, that is the only way you're really going to learn what it can do and what you can actually use it for in, um, you know, in a, in a capacity that is actually useful. Because obviously just playing around with it is not as useful as if you need it, as, as if you needed it for an actual project. Um, but, you know, you can use this for background and if you really want, you can probably use it for logos, although it is a bit trickier with uh, certain shapes. So I'll show you for example, this is my logo. And if I want to apply a freeform gradient to it, I can't. 
Now, with a normal gradient, you would be able to do this because it's made up of so many different shapes that are grouped together. So with a normal gradient, you would do that. You would fix it and decide what colors you want to have on each spot. Maybe, maybe we'll do a pink and hey, pink. Why is this so difficult to use? RGB, there we go. Okay, so we'll do a pink like there and here we'll do, let's get back to RGB, a oh, purple. That, that didn't work at all. Why is it not working? Okay, there we go. So this is your standard gradient and you can kind of maneuver that however you want. But let's move that up here, drag it down here. So with the freeform gradient, it's a bit tricky because it doesn't let you do that. You can't, because it's all, you know, it's not one single shape, unlike these ones, which are obviously one single shape. So with the freeform gradient, if you do want to apply it to a group of shapes, it's a bit trickier. You have to ungroup the shape completely, and then you'll see there each shape is uh, on its own. Then you actually have to apply the freeform gradient individually to each shape part so it's uh it's a bit trickier and you honestly might not even want to do that at all because it it makes a lot of inconsistencies within the shape you have to be a bit maybe a bit too accurate to actually really get anything worthwhile out of it there we go let's move that around so you see it's a bit trickier to kind of use there and i'm still on lines let's go back to points I mean, it looks cool, but obviously now I need to go in and do the exact same kind of freeform gradient I did with the other shape. And it's just, it's a bit more work. So try to stick to keeping the freeform gradient in simple shapes, or maybe if you have a logo that is either one or two shapes, then you can manually kind of go in and do it. Or, you know, just stick to the normal gradient. Um, but yeah, so that is, that's, I think the basics. Um, then you can get really fancy with the freeform gradient. And uh, that basically just consists of doing blend effects on top of other blend effects. And playing around with more of the freeform gradient and the colors and kind of doing whatever, you'll, whatever else you want to do. But you can see how you can get some cool stuff. And really it's just having the flexibility of being able to have multiple spots of color on one shape. And now it is, it is actually quite similar to the, the mesh tool. So if we sort out, where's the mesh tool? There's a mesh tool. Let's give that a blue. So the mesh tool, is it, it's called the mesh tool. Yeah, it's called the mesh tool. I thought it had another name for some reason. So it's very similar where we can give it a point and then we give that point to color and we can give that point to color and that point to color. But you see there's, it's not quite as fluid or it's not, it's not as smooth, I guess, as the freeform gradient tool. There's a lot of different, you know, there, you can see the, the border of the two colors here. It doesn't blend quite as seamlessly. Um, however, I mean, you can still get some really neat effects with the mesh tool. Well, I don't even know what I'm doing now, but you can get some cool stuff happening um, regardless, but it really depends on the kind of look you are going for. I've used the mesh tool um, to bring stuff into Photoshop before, because I wanted this kind of you know, hard, hard lined, colored kind of look. And it looks like it, I mean, this shape, it looks like it has some depth to it. Whereas the freeform gradient tool, the colors are very smooth. So you don't get a, kind of an individual shape going on within the, with, or sorry, within the, you don't get the same sort of uh, depth and dimensions. So you see, that's the, that's the main difference between the two tools. Um, so depending on what you want, you can decide to use either free, the freeform gradient tool or the mesh tool, or just the super, super normal kind of gradient tool. Let's get rid of the logo here. It's a bit too self promoting and bring that back up. What have I done? I got rid of all my stuff here. And yeah, so those are the three types of gradients that you can kind of get. Um, and then maybe I'll do a video on the other ones a bit later, although that's, I mean, I covered them. <laughs> so yeah, so experiment with the freeform gradient tool um, when you have a chance. It is a lot of fun. I don't know if there's actually a, um, a limit on how many points you can create within the shape. I feel like it's probably infinite, but I've never really tried. Let's get my colors back here. 
let's go pink and blue and uh, yeah I think you can there's no real limit to this it's basically just whatever you want to do so you can probably get really crazy with that and um, yeah maybe don't go too crazy it's gonna get it's gonna get a bit nuts but wow okay that's actually kind of cool and I'm gonna stop there because honestly that's a lot of points already but remember you can just click and press delete click delete click delete if you have too many and that's the same with the the lines or should be the same well fine the illustrator doesn't want me to delete those I feel like you can maybe move them move them there we go now it's letting me delete them all right <laughs> looks like a little petri dish that's fun and one last thing I forgot to mention is that you can actually go in to the points, the individual points in here. There we go. Okay, I don't know why it applied a new color. Um, and you can make a point a, a lower opacity than the other points. So if you only want maybe a teeny bit of a color in there, then you can change the opacity um, or opacity. And then obviously that will uh, make it so that part, let's put it on top here. will show of the uh, the show the the color below it um, a bit more let's bring it on to normal so you see that part is a bit transparent where the rest isn't so much it's because we made that little yellow area a bit um, lower in opacity now let's get back to that point and we can bring it back up to a hundred and there we go so you see that the opacity can be played with a bit and the spread here that's actually just uh, this little thing here so it's a bit more intuitive to move it with your mouse rather than with the uh, little spread tool there but you get the idea so that's something else you can do with the freeform gradient tool all right so thanks so much for watching guys um, let me know if there's any other illustrator or photoshop or uh, InDesign or affinity stuff you want me to cover I'm trying to do a bunch of like really really basic um, tips and tricks and tools and all of those programs as well as some hopefully a bit more complex stuff um, at some point this one is obviously a very very beginner um, so yeah let me know if there's any other ones you specifically want me to cover like the 3d stuff or honestly any tool just just let me know in the comments thanks so much bye